I wanted to try something different on my channel since I mainly do a lot of nail art stamping tutorials. So today I've decided to take you along with me in shopping slash wishlisting on the PPU website. If you have no idea what the PPU is, it stands for Polish Pickup. If you already know what the details are and how it works, I'll put a timestamp on the screen where you can skip forward seeing me start the wishlisting process. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it is a website where you can purchase limited edition items from nail care, bath and body, jewelry, wax, etc. that are themed. That theme changes every month and has been decided two months prior by voting on the Facebook group Polish Pick a Pack. This month's theme is Cozy Vibes. The site opens this Friday, December 3rd at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and closes on Monday, December 6th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you like more info, I'll link the FAQ from the PPU website so that you can get more details of, about shipping and all of that. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I am an organized freak here. So I don't normally do the shop all if you're kind of curious about it. I go in order and I'm already on the website as you can see. So I first go to polish and right now they're currently saying that there's about 87 polishes. So you know that's not bad. That's that's pretty good. Um, I mean they could also add more by the time that I post this video. So I'm going to try to post it tomorrow Wednesday. Today is the November 30th a Tuesday. So I mean you can see it obviously for my computer, but I'm gonna kind of like browse and see what there is. Now, I do wanna state that I have a substantial amount of polish and I don't really wanna get dupes and I seriously killed Black Friday. Oh boy, it was bad. <laughs> so if you're curious what I did purchase for Black Friday, I purchased from quite a few different places. I I can do a video if you're for Black Friday once I get everything in and then yeah, I'll let you know. And also I'm supposed to be getting my PPU polish, what was it, for November? So if you wanna see what I got from technically this month, which is the beginning of November, well, I'm filming this obviously. Obviously. but um yeah so then just let me know exactly like if you want to see that video put a nail polish hand in there you know what I mean and in, in the comment section I guess but anyway enough of me yapping let's get into this all right so I'm kind of like taking a, a peek here a gander at some polishes nothing's really catching my eye again I feel free to shop with me I'm okay with that there's no problems you know why not now a lot of you know that I do use quite a bit of the polish pickup polishes when it comes to doing a lot of my nail art designs because I like incorporating different like flakies, tones, hollows, you know, this, that, and the other. A lot of those polishes that you see can, they mainly come from this website if it doesn't come from China Glaze, but we're not talking about China Glaze. We're talking about polish pickup. So if there's anything, there's this one right here. Oh, oh yes. Um, as you can see, Caddy Lacquer Purple Lights. Oh my goodness. Whoa. This is going gorgeous oh my goodness yes Mm -mm -mm. And oh, oh, by the way, if you're going to be wishlisting, make sure that you set up an account if you haven't already, because you're going to need that when it comes to the day that you're on Friday at 11 a.m. Because you're going to want to like try to get your hands on it. This one doesn't look like it's capped. So thank goodness for that. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, like, wow. Whoa. Look at that macro. Mm -mm -mm. So, so beautiful. That is gorgeous. Wow. Okay. So her inspiration was a purple candle. I think I've seen the pictures. If you're on the polish pickup pack website for the Facebook group you can see their inspiration because at the like right after the form the last polish pickup ended a few days later they'll do like a sneak peek and that's where you can kind of see like what their inspiration is so definitely join that Facebook group if you haven't already because wow there's some pretty pretty polishes in there you know what I mean so all right so we already know I'm going back for that one so that one's gorgeous absolutely that was I think that was like my number one that I saw from her and I was like, oh, oh yes. Mm -hmm. I already have a lot of blues. I have a lot of, you know, snowy looking stuff. I just picked up also a lot of stuff from, you know, different companies. Um, I did pick up some Cadillac -er polishes from What's Up Nails. Um, I was mentioning, you know, before, so it's kind of, you know, I just kind of look at it. I already have something very similar. I think I have like two or three polishes that is similar to this Coloris de Carol. I'm a sucker for these kind of things. Like, what is this? Blankets and hot chocolate. 
chocolate. I mean, that definitely is cozy vibes, but I already, I already kind of have polishes like this, unfortunately. So, you know, I'm trying to make sure that I can only fit so much, you know, into my, my Helmers. And that's normally what I hold them into. And I have three of them and they are, ooh, they, they, they get in real full. Like I, I don't know if I can fit any more polish into them. I mean, that's three Helmers. So ouch. But this one right here, this cupcake polish, sweet slumber. Ooh, this is really pretty. I love this. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of like January-ish vibes inspired by a cozy pink and silver bedroom. Yeah, I mean, that's really pretty. You know, I'm going to add it to the wish list. However, I do want to kind of compare it to a polish that I picked up from the HHC, which is Hella Handmade Creations. It's similar, but it is different. Um, but I picked up a polish that was from there a few months back from Rogue Lacquer called a oh, Dingle Hopper. And that was by, I think it was like by the Little Mermaid and it looks similar, but I don't know if it, I don't know if it's exact. I think this has like more rose gold into it. Okay. Enough of the talking. Let's, let's keep on looking here. So I'm still looking. Let me know down below too. Like, I mean, do you, do you have a preference of like what colors do you feel like you gravitate, gravitate towards? Oh man, I can't speak, man. I feel like you need to a glass of water. See, again, I love, oh man, what is, I think it's also because the winter, I'm gravitating towards these grays. I, I don't know, I love a light gray, but I just picked up something that was, I think, similar from Potion Polish. Again, mm, I love like these delicate grays. They're so beautiful. Different dimension, cold hands, a warm heart. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Again, with the cozy blankets. What is going on here? Okay, you know what? I need to I need to get away from these grays because I mean I love gray don't get me wrong but mm, mm, mm. all right what else we got here see I'm also attracted to these look at this fancy gloss cozy sweater this is gorgeous wow 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 reddish plum base with two different types of copper green teal and gold flakies wow so now you see this here it says available 300 that means that there's a cap and so with that cap if this is I would doubt I wouldn't doubt that this polish is probably going to go really quickly so this cap is it's a it's in I would it's not low not super low but it is medium low I don't know how to describe that but um yeah if you're wanting something on the website here just make sure that you are there at 11 a.m a sharp otherwise you'll regret it if something disappears and you you know you can't get your hands on it so I'm gonna pass on that only because I have a couple polishes I think like one from KB Shimmer and I have like another one, which unfortunately they're, they're not a brand anymore, but I, that's why I haven't used them in a manicure called Sayuri. And it was from, believe it or not, the Bellish Pickup. And it was based off of the Janeway from the Voyager. And wow, that polish is so beautiful, but I use it sparingly because that brand's not in they're not in stock or they're not here anymore unfortunately which is sad anyway enough of my rambling so femme fatale bobbles and bows okay again this is like blues that i'm gravitating towards however i could have swore i picked up a polish from them that was from a hella handmade again hhc and that was either like i think it was like last month they had something very very similar to this so if you didn't pick up I got to think of the polish what it is. If I if I find out what it is, I will put the name of it on the screen and a and a picture of it if possible so you can see the difference. Um no no shade to Femme Fatale, okay? But I could have I mean it could be different, but it looks very similar to what I just picked up. So what is this inspired by? Oh, well of course tree bobbles um again it's got a cap 370 right now so i'm gonna pass on that because it looks very similar to what i just picked up but if you don't have anything like this in your collection this is absolutely beautiful it's stunning it's really really pretty and if the jibber jabber let me keep on moving mm, you know i'm i don't know i mean this is pretty this hearts and promises cinnamon hot chocolate i don't know again with the browns i don't know i like these brown tones i mean technically we are still in fall but i love doing holiday manicures right now and that is pretty again now this has a lower cap this is the lowest cap I've seen so far it has 200 so I'm not gonna put it in the I'm not gonna put it in the thing because I have chocolatey browns this is the one that I heard that was like a really big one that people this one oh yeah this has a low this has a pretty low cap it's got 200 again so cuddly and cozy by Heather's Hughes so this is a thermal now I will be honest I don't normally purchase thermals and that the reason for that is because by the time that I purchased the thermal 
and then I go to, you know, put it on my hands, I, you know, swatch it, and then by the time that I go to put it on my hands, I completely forget about the polish, and it only works like one or two times. It's only when it's something different, like it's something I really, really like, then I will swatch it and I'll try to use it a few times. Just make sure that when you're using thermals though, that you put them in a cool, dark place, um, AKA a Helmer is good. Just make sure it's not in the sunlight so that it has a longer shelf life. I couldn't get that out of my mouth. Let me see. No, again, with these grays, man, looking at that hit the bottle, man. Ooh, I gotta, I already have a Snoopy polish like that though. Right, let's see here. I heard about Kathleen and co about that reflective light i don't know i'm i'm on the fence about that stuff so i don't know just ignore me that's another thing too is it takes me a long time to get onto a if you want to call it a trend so that's another thing about me sorry i take my sweet time with that oh this is one i really wanted to go after or i wanted to take a closer peek at and that is by night owl lacquer kitty snuggles now i love night owl lacquer yes this is pretty cute oh i like that mm -mm. So thank goodness no cap. This is really pretty. I like this. Okay, yep. We're adding you to the to the wish list, ma'am. Thank you. And keep on looking here. Yeah, so just let me know like what type of colors do you normally gravitate towards? Like, do you have a preference? Especially like seasonal polishes. I'm curious if anybody is more of a seasonal wearer or you gravitate towards certain colors during certain times of the year. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that do that, but hey, I mean, I don't mind wearing a neon in the wintertime. Don't get me wrong. So see, this one's really pretty too. This Penelope Lutes Hot Wine. The only thing is I have have polishes that are almost identical to this or very very similar so unfortunately I'm not gonna go with it but it does have a very nice high cap it does have a cap it's 700 but still not too shabby so same thing with uh, polish molish I really like her polishes they're really really good this one has a moderate to low cap 320 it's really really pretty though but I'm, I'm not gonna get it because I, I already have polishes like that so Still, still taking a look here. And unfortunately, this I thought was very beautiful. This Watcha Christmas Warm. This is very, very beautiful, but I'll be honest with you. I have I have a polish that's very similar to this. Again, 300 for the cap. Um, yeah, it reminds me of a polish that I have from Vapid called Fireside. Is, is it Fireside? Firestorm? Fire something. I'll I'll get the correct name for that polish. I'll put it on the screen. But that one, it's very, it reminds me very similar to that. Very, very close. All right, enough of the polishes. So let's take a look. Keep on going. Oop, top and base. Okay, so a lot of times if you're ever curious, you know, if you want to try something out and you're not sure, this is a great area to try to try out like different top coats, base coats, because then it's like a one stop shop for all kinds of different little goodies. So there are times that I will get stuff here if I'm kind of interested in it and I don't want to pay extra shipping, um, just going directly to that website. Also, they will have like certain smells or smells <laughs> scents. So um, I do like the double bond from Vibrant Finals. However, I will only use this when I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear a polish for an extended period of time, because the fact that I do a lot of like swatching and tutorials, I don't always wear this. I use like the other one, which I think I saw in here. So I'll talk about that, but let's see here. So this is, um, scent is, well, inspired by sweater, sweater weather. And the smell is sage, juniper berry, uh, eucalyptus and fresh woods. Ooh, that smells really like I'm smelling it through the computer. Good grief. Okay. So yeah, that sounds like it would smell amazing. Well, gosh, darn it. I'm going to have to add you to my wish list because you smell, um, why do I keep on saying I say that smells? I'm not even smelling anything for crying out loud. Okay, enough of that. So let me see here. <clears throat> smelling it. Okay. Oh, see, this is the normally the brand that I always use for my swatches and kind of like in between treatments. It's the base coat by um, Corelity. I hope I said that correctly. It's the factory reset. I love this stuff. What is the scent? Pumpkin peanut brittle. Oh, mm, I don't know about that scent. <laughs> <laughs> no shade to Corility, but um, you know what? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I want my fingers smelling like peanut butter. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> That's That just sounds weird. All right, we're gonna keep it moving, keep it grooving. All right, I'm gonna hand a nail. Let me see here. Sometimes you'll also find stamping plates in here as well. So it's kind of a hit and miss. I just destroyed Uber Chic. 
Uh, that is one of the ones that I did the Black Friday sale um, and I should be getting that stuff tomorrow along with some stuff from Maniology. I have plenty of plates that look like this with the little pines and all that stuff. So I'm just going to take a peek here. Sometimes the lotion of immortality by Lucky 13 is pretty good, but sometimes it's hit and miss. That's just my personal take though. So these are the three that she has here. There's only a hundred available. By the way, this lotion normally goes really quickly. So if you are interested in these scents, they have a subs a obsessed obsessed with pie pie is home and pie for breakfast so they have like three different scents here but if you are ever interested in anything that is from her when it comes to lotion make sure that you pick it up because it is one of the fastest sellers that i've noticed every single month it's it's always gone so just be aware of that i'm not really into the pie scents, so i'm gonna go ahead and skip that but i'm gonna keep it moving keep it grooving um uh, let's see here and nothing else i actually did pick up a nail diva but i picked it up like during the basic essentials, which you can do. So I'm hoping I will get that in the mail soon. Now there is something that I am looking for and that is Bath and Body, oh yeah. So I already know what it is particularly. It's the one thing that I'm, I'm so pumped for and that is the Hand and Body Sugar Scrub by KB Shimmer Cafe Latte. Oh yes, that is an automatic. If I have to say that a sugar scrub is really, really good, it would be KB Shimmers. Oh my goodness. Her K her sugar scrubs are amazing. Now they do have a little bit of a larger grip, but they're amazing. I use them for before shaving my legs, my armpits, even though that's TMI, but it's the truth. Using it on my arms, if they feel like on the back of your arms, you know, on the upper part, you know, close to your shoulders. Sometimes you get little bumpies and stuff. This stuff is amazing. I love it. And the scents for the most part, as long as it does not have a cantaloupe or honeydew smell, I'm all game for it. I unfortunately, yeah, now you know, I cannot stand the smell of cantaloupe or honeydew. It, I just want to get <laughs> but coffee I'm down for for sure this is another one here too that I see um I've always heard about it it's the wits lotion by Heather's Hughes I've heard about this stuff I've not tried it but what is the scent this time and this normally goes really quickly because this is a very low cap it's only got 50 available here what is this peppermint hot chocolate Ooh, now that sounds amazing oh man that smells amazing that i keep on saying that smells amazing i'm not smelling anything for crying out loud that sounds amazing warm hot chocolate melted marshmallow followed by hints of peppermint and vanilla Ooh, okay we're gonna have to put you in the wish list yes okay i think i'm gonna finally do it i'm gonna try out a heather Hughes. yeah let's see here they do have jewelry. I'll just kind of like quickly show you what they have from jewelry. Sometimes I do pick up some stuff from Zara jewelry, but I'm not really feeling these little studs. Some stuff is cute. I can never go with the ring size because I have tiny fingers. Like my ring size is like a four and a half. So I will never ever find a ring size for me at all. <laughs> so unless it's custom made. I'm not really feeling these earrings. These are kind of these are kind of cute. These little plaid ones. All right. So they got wax here. So yeah, they have waxes as well. However, I'm not gonna pick up any wax. Um, feel free to kind of like see and like what they have and everything. It just unfortunately, wax for me is hit and miss because sometimes I've picked up wax and then it, it sounds or it sounds like it smells amazing and then it, it falls flat for me or it's like something with the other scent in there. So I'm just not sure. So I'm now mis miscellaneous. And this is where you can find like other random stuff. Like um, every once in a while, I will pick up one of these uh, off the hook creations by Jessica, like these uh, crocheted little toys. And they could be either filled with catnip or you could pick them up without catnip. The llama is cute. I'm gonna pass on that one. And they have some, let's see, water slide decals. I'm not gonna pick those up this time. Oh, looks like they got a little, looks like a, what is that? Is that an ornament? Well, I'll be darned. It is, it's an ornament. Oh, that's cute. Is that an ornament? I think it is. Yeah, it looks like it's an ornament. Oh, that's really cute. Okay. Well, I mean, tis the season, right? And that's basically it, is what I think. They got gift cards. They got some other merchandise. They have lots of basic essentials. I'm not going to go into those. Yes. Um, let me know again, you know, if you are going to shop the Polish Pickup this Friday or this, this time around. So don't forget, it does open at Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the December 3rd date, which is this Friday, just a few days away. If anything is capped and you really, really want it, and if you got the budget for it, then go ahead and 
take the plunge if you've never tried it out before. Other than that, let me know like what you guys are gonna pick up if you are planning to pick up anything in the wish list or the, the website. So just let me know. And if you are interested in what I picked up from Blast Polish Pickup and my Black Friday haul when I get everything all together, let me know down below. And yeah, so other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed. Other than that, take care and stay chilly.